Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're doing another video on graphing logarithmic functions to get us a better understanding of how to do that, especially when they're not quite the standard form. For example, we already know how to graph y equals the log of base a of x. It looks like this. We know that it goes to the x-axis, where x is equal to 1, when y is equal to 0. But what does it look like when we put a negative sign in front of it? What does it look like when we add another constant? What does it look like when we multiply times a factor? Or what does it look like when we subtract or add a number to the value of x? All right, let's start with what happens when we have a negative sign. Well, that means that the whole thing will flip over about the x-axis. It will be a symmetric uh, view about the x-axis. It will look like this because when y is equal to a positive number, with that function, it will make it into a negative number. So there, we still go to the point when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, so it would be uh, 1, 0, but the function will look like this instead. Okay, so it just simply flips the function over. In the case that we add a constant to it, it just simply raises the whole, the whole graph by two units, in this case, because we add plus 2. That means when x is equal to 1, y will therefore be equal to 2, so that's 1, 2, like this. So this is 1, this is 2, and the whole function will go through like this. And so the whole logarithmic function has been raised a total of 2 units in the positive y direction. What if we multiply the function by 2? Well, that simply means that y grows twice as fast, both in the positive and the negative direction. Still, when x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 0. So this is still the point, 1, 0, but then instead of curving like this and become relatively small very quickly, I should say the relationship between x and y, instead what will happen is that the function will grow a little bit faster and it will rise up higher before it becomes almost asymptotic to the horizontal line up there. And finally what happens when we have we add or subtract the number from x, what happens there is it will shift the function to the left or to the right. In this case, if it's minus 1, it will shift to the right by minus 1. So instead of going to the point 1, 0, it will actually go to the point 2, 0. So this is the point 1, 0. This is the point 2, 0. So when we add, when we go x minus 1, it will shift the whole function to the right by one unit, and the function will look like this. It looks like this, and it will asymptotically reach the line x equal 1 instead of the line x equal 0. So instead of asymptotically reaching the y-axis, it will asymptotically reach the line x equal 1, one unit to the right. And those are the differences between those various graphs. So that gives you an idea of how to graph uh, the uh, logarithmic functions when things are not quite the standard format. And that's how it's done.